we're going to start with Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Uh, this is a very uh, big requested song, this one. Um, it's really based around a lot of common chords, so things like G, C, A minor, D. Uh, but first of all, we're going to start with the intro part. Now I'm going to use the original audio to sort of play along with, so you can get an idea of how it all sounds. So on the original song, um, it starts off very soft, um, almost like it's going through a transistor radio. But it's also played on a 12 string guitar, so at the moment I'm playing it on a 6 string, so there's a slight sound and difference as well. Um, so, first thing. Now, throughout the intro of this song, it's always keeping the 3rd and 4th fingers down like this. Okay, so... So let's have a look at the um, the main riff, which is starting up here on the G, A, hammer onto the B, open D. So it goes like this. Okay, so that's like so. Okay, and then we start a rhythm pattern, which is down, up, up, down, then a bit of a riff, which is third and fourth strings, and then back into the G. Which that rhythm pattern again, so back through the riff on the G, and then the third and fourth strings again, back to the G. Okay, still to the E minor, now this is actually an E minor seventh. Now the riff slightly changes to now that is fourth string E note, so second fret open onto the fifth string, which is your um, B note, so second open. Now this starts into the A seventh suspended fourth, okay, which is just putting your same as the E minor seventh, but put your first and second fingers down. Okay, so G is the first chord we play, then E minor 7th, and then A, 7th suspended 4th. So those are the shapes we're playing. So it's... Okay, back to that first riff. E minor. Back to the A. Now that is just A, B, A. Back to the G. Okay, so I'll play that through um, totally first of all with a close up on um, this hand here. Okay, so you can see what's happening. starts going through the same riff again, okay, but the um, <coughs> second time through another guitar comes in and starts to play this solo part, which we're going to have a look at now. Right, um, so I'll play this along with the song uh, one more time so you can hear it. Uh, I'll have to catch up, so it actually starts with, on the song, starts there, okay, so I'll start it on the E, here we go.
Um, there was also some slight differences in rhythms between what he was doing and I was doing. Um, <coughs> once again, with these sort of things, uh, I've been playing this song for quite a few years now, so I tend to put a little bit of my own stuff into it. Um, same thing with, with yourself, once you start playing it uh, for a while, you start to incorporate some of your own little techniques into it. Um, if you want to learn it note for note, then learn this method here and then listen to the CD and then try and copy it exactly the way it is. Okay, then all these things are open for interpretation. To the next part now, which is the solo. Okay, so we're going to do this step at a time. So first step is this one here. Okay, so this is... Okay, so once again, I'm going to go for a nice close zoom in here, <coughs> so you can see what's happening. So. Okay, to the second part now of the song. Okay, now with this here, um, we're looking at the first and second strings. So we're playing two notes together all the time. So it's and then slide back down and then using your second and third fingers on the second and third strings sliding up okay so that's it's a little bit hard to do because you're sliding um, two strings at a time okay so we've got Okay, just A, B it once again. So. Now I am putting some of my stuff in there again. Okay, now it is. Okay, so I'll do a close up on this. And then the last part. And that is quite simply just a bend on the third string, fourth fret. And then that's all this solo part. Alright, let's look at the chords now. Okay, so basically the chords always have this feel to it, which is a down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So if you can practice that. So we got. Um, and pretty much that's the song.